Okay, I'm gonna uh, do this. I've been messing around with the um, chat GPT thing and uh, and this open SCAD, which is like a CAD program, but it, everything is generated with code, with its own scripting thing. So this uh, open SCAD code. So I asked it to make a helicopter. This is what came out, didn't, didn't look too great, which is a bit annoying. Um, and then I tried, oh, I have to preview it, don't I? Um, so this was supposed to be a teapot. Um, the car was more successful, um, although it, it, see, it throws up these areas of unknown modules. So I think it's making stuff up. It's like round box is a, mod, is a miss. It doesn't seem to know what that is. And um, the other one, the teapot had uh, had um, a cone object. Uh, but it's still quite interesting. Um, I hopefully it'll get better. Um, I mean, it's kind of, it would be useful. You know, be, I guess it would be great to find out what the best program to you know where it's most reliable um, in terms of generating um, I mean I saw people initially I saw someone do it with Python in, in, the, in the Python console in Blender um, which seemed to work quite well um, and then there was somebody else who got it to write VEX code for Houdini um, which, which also seemed to work I mean there were, there were always sort of one or two mistakes or something um, I have no idea, you know, I've never used OpenSCAD before, so I was just curious to see, I wanted to know what, if it could do generative CAD modeling, um, which it sort of can. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, I've kind of been impressed. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I could do, let's do another, another object, um, something simple like a chair. Off it goes. Um, there we go. So copy that. It, it says you should um, save it as a SCAD file and open it, but you can just go file new and then paste it. This is in the clipboard. So whether you paste it in Notepad and save it as a SCAD file or or just anyway. Uh, we'll just paste it in into SCAD directly. Let's give it a go. Has it got four legs? <laughs> it's got four legs, but it's upside down, and it's got no back. It's more of a stool. Um, but there you go. That's a quick demo. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like curious to say to to know which which will come, which one will work the best. I mean, Python can be all controlled by. Oh, sorry, Blender can be all controlled by Python. Um, I mean, most of the 3D you know, Maya and stuff, like you can control it with scripting too. So, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I, I guess it's probably better with Python code than it is these sort of um, other languages um, because I, that's, as far as I understand it, that's how a lot of the AI has been, was originally devised or, or the, it's all driven through Python. So I guess it's, it's probably be best, better with Python. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop the video, just sort of make this quick thing.